everyone, it's me, Lay Bear. Happy New Year. Um, I decided that I wanted, I didn't decide, I got inspired by Sethkin7, a guru on YouTube. I will link him below, and he is amazing. Um, he did a highlights of 2012 tag video, and I just loved that theory of like highlighting the year in beauty. Um, so I wanted to do a video. Um, he, I love him as a guru. He's really calm, cool, relaxed, like super informative, honest, um, and he's just a great, great channel to check him out. Um, I am going to do a little tag video and then, um, my goal is to do more videos this year, is my resolution, um, but this is just the first one. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do, I have the questions saved on my phone, or on my phone, so I'm going to answer those really fast. Hopefully, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, which makeup brand stood out to you most in 2012? Um, I will have to say that Tarte is an amazing brand that went leaps and bounds this year with their products. Um, I work for Sephora um, as a color consultant. Well, as in general, I kind of float around the store. So I'm in skincare some, I'm in color a lot, like makeup, and then I do work fragrances too, and then I do high tech tools and hair. Like it's, I, I personally just love the knowledge of products. So. I learn as much as I can from all of the worlds, but my main world is color and then skincare and then the hair and fragrance and all the other random knickknacks kind of get seeped into my brain, but the main stuff I know is color and skin. Um, so with that, I will say Tarte has changed so much this year. They released so many new products with so many innovations with um, ingredients that they found formulations, finishes, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products. So I would say that's going to be my favorite brand of the year because they just were amazing with all their new products. Um, let's see. Um, best new discovery 2012 has to go mentioned again to Seth Kitt. He did a video on the Chanel Je Contrast Notorious Brulush Contour, and I had to buy it instantly when he reviewed it. It's the gray, like, gray taupe kind of contouring powder, and it's beautiful. Um, if you know how to contour, if you know how, where to place it just right, it gives that perfect definition without looking insane. You can go pretty insane with it because it is gray on your face, but if you do it right, it just looks like nothing you've ever seen before on how it brings out the shape of your face. So I thank him huge amounts for that. My sister comes in every weekend and tries to steal it and use it when she goes out, so I have to show her how to put it on every time she comes in, but it's a little fun experience for us to get ready together. Or me help her get ready for going out by doing her makeup a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's fun, but I'm scared it's gonna be just gone soon, disappeared into her room. <laughs> Let's see, it's fun. Best rediscovery of two, oh, that you've, the product that you fall in love with over and over again. Um, it's kind of hard. Um, I was, oh, okay. I'll say it's working at Sephora. We try every single foundation that they have released ever. Um, and I am always in search for like holy grail foundations of like the foundation that's perfect for me and my needs, not necessarily for everybody. Like not everybody's gonna love it, but like what I need in a foundation or whatever. And I found that in the Makeup Forever Face and Body. Um, no matter what season I can wear this. I know it'll work. I know it'll last. It's everything I need. I will try other foundations. Sometimes you get every day. I'm like, mm, what do I want to look like today? What foundation do I want to try today? It's just, it's fine for me to, to pick that. But if I have ever any idea or in a rush, this is my instant go-to. And I just, every time I wear it, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. So easy. I remember why I love this. 
but yes, that's going to be my answer. Best seasonal product of 2012. I don't really know how to take that answer. Um, I guess, I guess the pro product that I love that was released in a specific season was the MAC um, Hello Sailor collection. It was the soft sand bronzer. Um, I was in search of a perfect bronzer this summer and I found a few that I really, really love, but there was no one that, like, I'm settled. Like, that's all I need. Um, I bought, like, five in a matter of a week and a half to two weeks bronzers, and then I found this one. And because of Seth, again, actually, I think he said, mentioned the Hey Sailor collection, and then I was just, you know what, I'll try Mac out. Um, I work at first Sephora, but I mean, I don't discriminate against other brands. Um, if they have good products, they have good products. Um, so I went to MAC and I found this color that was exactly what I was looking for. Just the perfect amount of bronze with a little hint of shine without looking glittery. Just gave me a really good healthy glow. Um, I loved it so much that I bought it and then a week later I bought the rest of their stock. So I have four of these. I hit pan on this one, which I, this is the one I bought in the summer. Um, so it's lost to me a while, um, but I have four of them. So I have one use and three backups. Just because I hate about collections, limited edition is you're going to fall in love with the product and it's going to be gone. So I was like, stock up before I get mad and wish I had this again. And my friends think I'm a little obsessive when I went and bought the last three and the person at the counter was like, you want, you want all three? Because I went and was like, how many of those do you have left? And they're like, three. I'm like, can I have all three? And they're like, all three? Like, yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Best and worst limited edition collections of 2012. I don't really, like I said, follow limited edition collections unless I hear amazing reviews or something and then I'll go touch them and look at them but I really can again commit myself to buying anything from a limited collection because they're going to be gone um I will say conceptually I loved um hey sailor I love nautical themed things I love like navy and white and just the theory and sea and everything so that's I would say that's my favorite theory of collection product wise excuse me I wasn't amazingly impressed with any products other than the bronzer, but yeah, the thing really stood out product-wise for me. Um, most regretted, regretted purchase of 2012. That's hard. Oh, I think it was a... I have it still, and I don't know why I still have it. I just, I hate it. Um, it was... I don't... It was the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Con Concealer from Maybelline. It's this. Um, I got it because it, another guru that I like um, loves it. Loves it like loves it and it looks really good on her and the product itself isn't that bad um i have the ysl 2 j cloth um working for so at sephora i touch it i use this on clients all daily um i just i love it and i was like you know what i'm gonna try this out it's supposed to be like this it's in theory um inspired by it's gonna you know it's substantially more affordable um, so I tried it, and they don't have a huge color range, and it kind of dawned on me when <laughs> more that drugstore brands don't have a huge color range, and then I don't fall into a necessarily hugely common color. So, um, it's completely the wrong color. Not completely, it's really, really badly the wrong color. So, I don't know why I haven't just tossed it, I just can't. 